This letter comes from Andrea Myers. It's called Dog Man Soldiers. Many years ago, I was told by an old man while I was doing some dog man research that a military lab had somehow created five dog men and somehow they escaped. The good news is they had trackers in them. The bad news is a town five miles from the lab is where the creatures headed. Not far behind was the soldiers assigned to retrieve the creatures. By the time the soldiers reached the town, everyone in the town was dead. Women, men, and children slaughtered and half eaten. The creatures were still there, so the soldiers killed all five of them with special weapons, removed the dogman bodies, and burned the town to the ground with chemicals that burned so hot nothing was left. The government covered it up. The only reason I know this is because the old man was there to kill the beast and told me all about it on his deathbed. And they are making more of the dog men. So beware, America. The rogue government is releasing them a few at a time in our national forest. So beware next time you go into the woods and you see military vehicles with cages. And remember this, it isn't the first time this has happened, and it probably won't be the last. Thanks, Andrea. I know exactly what you are talking about. Now, I don't know if you're talking about the same one, the one down south, or a different one. But after tonight's show, maybe you'll know if me and you are talking about the same thing. So, thank you. The main story for tonight's show is the interview with Donald Coleman. Hello, my name is Donald, and I have been listening to all five episodes of Dogman Stories. I, too, have encountered numerous dogmen. You can catch my story at dogmenencountersradio.com, episode 71. The government on a federal level is covering up these dogman murders. It's part of a rogue government plan to terrorize citizens who don't accept the plan of the New World Order. When I worked for the U.S. Census Bureau in 2010, they sent out teams to count everything associated with your property and know the exact footage to the street you live on, the main roadway, and the highway. When FEMA Roundup begins to take whatever color coat sticker is placed on your mailbox or home by the Census Bureau, you will be killed on site or taken to a FEMA prison camp to take the mark of the beast, 666. Dogman is the New World Order's mascot enforcer, and it has a computer chip inside its brain that can have commands sent to the dogman's brain to begin slaughtering people. As I believe it has already begun, the dogman killing spree seems to be happening all over the U.S. As of right now, the Appalachian Trail in Georgia. Forest rangers are finding a lot of people ripped apart and torn to shreds on bike trails. Not just a few here or there, a lot of people every other day but you won't hear about it on the local news why you ask because the government is involved and the government is a cover-up when the government's involved everything out of their mouth is a lie and they are nothing but trouble since when has a bear or a coyote ripped people's arms and legs off or decapitated a full-grown man by stabbing their claws in his heart and ripping upward until his head is torn off. Never. And you will never hear about it because they do not do that. But a dog man does. Dog man will even kill a Bigfoot. From what I've been told, the vital organs on this dog man, which I believe is engineered by the government, are located to the right, not the left, and silver bullets will kill it. 
Silver reacts with a compound in the dog man's body, acting as a poison to the dog man. Also, I would like for everyone to pay close attention to fables and folklore. All the stories originated from an actual true events. One particular story that has piqued my interest was Michael Prince, a.k.a. James Casbolt. James Casbolt was a CIA candidate who was under a mind control experiment at a very early age. Later, he became a trained assassin all over the world. He has done some documentaries where he discusses Dogman and how Nazi scientists were taken out of Germany in World War II and taken to an underground military base located in the mountains in the Four Corners area where they could launch their version of the Dogman and the rogue government began to unleash their version of the Dogman into our national forest and our wildlife refuge area. Thankfully, David Smith's 411 books have shed it light on what is going on in our national forest, so people are aware now. Michael Prince began assassin back then when the government had him under control. But even Michael Prince being an assassin still could not handle what the government was doing and most importantly, what they were doing to human beings. Michael witnessed a four-year-old girl wearing a purple dress put into a cage with an eight-foot-tall dog man and heard her screams as the dog man ate her alive with cameras rolling and witnesses watching it unfold before their very eyes. Real-life people were forced into cages with dog men and were torn to shreds and eaten alive, with witnesses watching every time from a video screen as if it was a science project. I might could understand goats or pigs, but humans? How could anyone stop? And watch something like this. How can anybody stand by and watch this? And the four-year-old little girl was no criminal. So they can't use that excuse. You know guys, listening to what Donald has to say reminds me of a story I was told a few years back from a gentleman who was in the military and was part of a security team at a lab some secret government lab somewhere down south. He would not discuss the location, however his story was the scientists at the lab had created what they refer to as a were soldier, basically as he described them to be werewolf soldiers. They had created five of them, planted tracking devices in them and equipped their bodies with armor to protect the front chest area and around the neck. Somehow, these werewolf soldiers escaped the lab and went to the nearest town, which was about 10 miles away. As soon as they escaped, security team had loaded up their special weapons that would kill these creatures and located them by their microphones. I'm sorry, they're microchips. 30 minutes after the werewolf soldiers had escaped, the security team arrived at the town to find the so-called dog soldiers were still there and had not left yet. They had slaughtered everyone in the town, men, women, and children. To the soldiers' surprise, these creatures had tracked the nearest humans to the lab which was this town broke into their homes and slaughtered their entire families even newborn babies had been eaten everyone in the town was dead so the soldiers found themselves face to face with the werewolf soldiers luckily they were equipped with guns that could kill two elephants at the same time and they knew where to shoot at. These specimens had to be terminated. 
they had acquired the taste of human blood instead of the enemy. All five dog soldiers were killed, bagged, and removed from the town. The team placed a huge bomb in the area, and when they were far enough away, the sergeant detonated the bomb and flattened the town and everyone in it. It was labeled by the local news as a gas line had went bad. No bodies were identifiable in the bombing, and that's the way the government wanted it. You won't find anything on the internet about it, Sergeant Smith told me. When they do cover-ups that big, they try to keep the media out of it. Because then it will drive the attention of the local police and people will start to ask questions. Sergeant Smith told me this story and swears by it. There's only one problem. He has stated that he knows of eight more labs in and around big cities that have dog men inside of them. He estimates each lab has five. That's pretty freaking scary, not knowing where they're at. They got out before. I'm sure they can do it again. This makes the second lab that has had Dogman escape and kill a lot of people. And the government covered it up. Creepy, huh? I just wanted you guys to hear that story because I believe it kind of ties into Ronald's story on government cover-ups and involvement with dogmen. Also, Michael Prince was found deceased back in 2011. I'm not sure why or how, but I'm going to do a little research on some of the government involvements and theories. I know this isn't a conspiracy theory channel, but the dogman combined with the government, I mean, come on guys, that always makes a great story. Also, Ronald mentioned Operation Paperclip. Now, for those of you who don't know, Operation Paperclip was a CIA code name that smuggled out these German scientists before the end of World War II. They had successfully cloned a human cannibal from South America with a hybrid German werewolf, renamed the Super Soldier, or a Banshee, and were trained in warfare and used on Allied troops at the close of World War II. And they were captured and shipped over to the USA also for cloning purposes. 